Welcome to Bean Hollow State Beach along the shores here of California, Central California to be exact. Uh, just fantastic day here in the wintertime. Just pretty much whole place to ourselves. And here along the coastline here, we have some interesting geologic features to point out. Thanks for joining me. I'm geology professor Sean Wilsey here in Central California. Along this beach, there's some interesting rocks that have some really interesting weathering patterns, the kind of thing that grabs people's attention, makes them wonder what is this and how does this form? So let's take a look at these rocks up closely and see if we can piece this together a little bit. So you can see the beach there with the sand and then we have these rocks here along the coastline uh, that crop out here along this section of beach. And as we look at these up close, these are granular kind of coarse grain. These are sandstones, but you can see they're kind of soft and it's easy to uh, push the grains apart. We can also see there's some fractures that run through the sandstone in places. But what makes these sandstones kind of attractive and somewhat remarkable is the way that they weather here along the coast. You can see these holes, these little kind of honeycomb pockets in the rock. And this has a cool name, this weathering feature. This is known as tafoni or tafani. It's an Italian word, but you can see all these little different crevices and holes. Kind of looks like a honeycomb pattern preserved in the rocks here. And the way these form, the ocean actually plays a big role in forming these types of features. Uh, we have this sandstone here. This sandstone is pretty well um, uniform in grain size for the most part. There's a few places with a little bit bigger, but it's a sort of a coarse grained sandstone. Um, but what we have here is we have the action of the salt water acting on these rocks. So when the waves come in and smash against the beach or at higher water, when they smash against these rocks, uh, that salt water splashes up against the rocks and then the salt evapor or the water evaporates, leaving the salt. And as the salt crystallizes in the rocks in the various pore spaces between the grains and stuff, that salt crystallization actually expands as the salt crystals grow, breaks up the rock, disaggregates a little bit, and separates the grains. And over time, that creates the holes that you see in the rock here. And then these become wonderful little habitats in tidal areas for organisms to kind of find a little niche and a little little place to eke out an existence. So that's known as tafoni or tafani, common in not just sandstones, but sometimes you see this also in granitic rocks as well in these sort of coastal settings where the salt and the sea spray is actively weathering the rocks here. So let's walk down the beach here. Um, we've got this little headland over here where the rocks jut out into the ocean and see if we can see some more of this sandstone with its interesting weathering pattern to phony and see with the water kind of lapping up onto these rocks if that's creating fun little habitats for some of these organisms in the ocean. Here's a good view of the sandstone here um, in these tide pools, but we can see that there's places where the sandstone um, is nicely laminated, has some organized layering in it. But then adjacent to that, we have another bed that's a little bit more of a conglomerate. You can see these pebbles in the rock here um, embedded. Here's one that here is almost like golf ball size. So a little bit of a diversity when it comes to rock types and the depositional environments that might have formed these rocks at that time. But let's see if we can find these. Uh, we can see a little bit of the Tafani going on here with some of these little holes gouged out in the rocks from the salt weathering. It looks like if we come over here, we can see exactly what I was talking about. We've got these little holes here uh, in the rock where micro or excuse me organisms can uh, sometimes find a little niche you might find a clam in there snails 
other sorts of things. Not seeing any here. Here we've got some uh, some snails kind of eking out in existence here in the rocks. But these are the perfect little environments for these organisms to exploit and take advantage of with these little cavities and holes and such in the rock. Pretty fantastic and a nice example of the way geology can influence the biology, the living organisms in an environment. So we can see that these sandstones in places where the Tafonis better developed are providing some of those habitats for those organisms. Cool stuff. Well, hey, thanks for joining me on this fun little adventure here along the coast of Central California, looking at the rocks, looking at the coastlines, and looking at how the geology has uh, come to be in this location. Very cool stuff. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time.